this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. Today I'm going to show you how you can create negative space pictures using temper paints. The reason why I call this negative space painting is because you are blocking off certain parts of the construction paper where there will be an absence of paint and everywhere else on the paper there will be paint creating the images that you desire. Now I'm going to use basic shapes and there's a worksheet that looks like this that you can download. The link to it is in the description. But you could use any shape that you wanted. You could use a teddy bear, you could use a shape of a lamp, um, whatever you would desire you could uh, put on there. So I have to tape the shapes onto the construction paper. I'm using a 12 by 9 piece of construction paper. You want to use the thickest construction paper you can find because uh, today the construction paper isn't what it used to be and it's pretty thin and that can make this activity a little bit more challenging. So I'm first going to determine how I want to arrange my shapes and I think that I'm going to want them like this. I think that's going to be the arrangement that I'm going to be happy with. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the back of each shape. I want it to be enough tape to hold it down, but I don't want it to be so hard that it is impossible to take it off. I'm just going to put a little, I already had some tape on there, but I'm just going to reinforce it a little bit. I think that one might be, well, I'll put a little bit more on that one, and then I have my triangle to do. Now, what I did with that um, pattern that I've included is I cut out the pattern, and then I retraced the shapes on pieces of cardboard, and then I cut out the cardboard, because if you just use regular paper, it's going to tear every which way when you try to remove them. It's just, it, and it's going to soak up the paint. So you need something stronger like cardboard. Okay, I put two kinds of paintbrushes in here because I wanted to see for myself what the effects would be if I used a flat uh, toothbrush, a, a flat paintbrush or one that was rounded. So this one is my flat one and I'm just going over the entire surface of the construction paper including these shapes. And I'm already seeing that I'm thinking that the flat one would actually have been uh, not as good a choice as the rounded one because it's not grabbing the, the sides uh, too well on this. But we'll just keep going with this. I'm using uh, blue temper paint and yellow construction paper. I'm not sure if the video shows you that color. And I'm not worrying about going off on the sides of the construction paper because I've already covered up my surface with some white construction paper. So that way I can allow it to pass through the, the sides. Now I need to let that dry for a while and then I'll come back and I will remove the shapes from the dryer, it might not be completely dry, from the dryer con construction paper and we'll see what the results look like. And I'm back and I'm ready to remove the shapes from the construction paper. It has not quite dried all the way, but I feel that it is enough that I can do this. So let me go ahead and normally you would want it to dry all the way, but for video purposes, I'm not gonna do that. So there's the rectangle. As you can see, the yellow, it's a yellow rectangle because that's where the paint did not go on the construction paper. And now we'll do the triangle. There's the upside down triangle shape. There's the circle. I need to remove the tape from that. My, uh, my fingers have paint on them, so I'm going to smudge where the circle is. 
And then the last one I'm going to take off is the square. And there you have it, negative space painting using temper paints. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other art activities using temper paints. The links to those videos are in my description. That's all for now. Bye.